millennial and Gen Z employees are rejecting assignments, turning down offers, and seeking purpose. Sounds great. Here's what they expect of their employers according to Deloitte's latest survey. According to Deloitte Global Gen Z and Millennial Survey, young employees want their employer's values to be aligned with their own, and they want to drive societal change through purposeful and meaningful work. All right, I read that. I said, fantastic. Uh, This is not new. I'm raising Gen Z right now. I got three Gen Z in my house. I thought, oh, this this is absolutely consistent. (laughs) And they do, by the way. They want to do meaningful work, which, by the way, so does every generation. This is nothing new. And so you got to dive into this. And so I'm reading this. I'm going, okay, where's this going? In fact, when Alex put this on my desk, I thought, I'm not even sure I'm going to share this on the show. And then I kept reading. Gen Zers and millennials expect more from businesses when it comes to embedding purpose in work. Nearly four in 10 respondents said they have rejected work assignments due to ethical concerns. More than a third have turned down employers that they feel aren't doing enough on matters such as, and this is where it gets interesting, the environment, DEI, which is code for, that's the acronym for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. It's a woke agenda. More on that in a moment. Or mental health. And less than half believe the impact of business on society is generally positive. Now, why? Because they're on TikTok and Instagram, and people attack companies for not getting involved in social issues. And so then they demonize certain companies. If you're not woke enough, they don't like it. Or if your CEO... If the CEO of a company they used to buy something from donates to a conservative cause, well, they're evil. That's just a fact. This group of workers, millennials and Gen Z, are more confident in influencing societal change through their work rather than through their personal choices. Boom. There's the bomb. See, I don't know if it's just me. But I, I'm not trying to do social policy change through my work. I'm trying to do social change through my personal life as it relates to how I raise my kids, how I live my life, how I, how I love my wife, uh, where I go to church, what I do, how I vote, where I give, all that. And now my work is, I mean, again, I'm trying to drive societal change as it relates to how people view work and purpose. But this is all about purpose, and watch, this isn't actually about purpose. This is about policy. This is about politics. Make no mistake about it. Only half of this year's respondents, again, millennials, Gen Z, feel empowered to drive change at work, while one-third say that decisions are made from the top down within their organizations and that their feedback is not often acted upon. They expect the organizations they work for and the broader business community to play a bigger role in tackling societal and environmental challenges. Thus, to secure to, to secure their talent's long-term commitment and create financial as well as social value, organizations must put purpose at the heart of both corporate priorities and individual responsibilities. I have been quoting from an op-ed in Fortune Magazine, written by Elizabeth Faber, who is Deloitte and Touche's Global Chief People and Purpose Officer. Another report from Deloitte. Deloitte had a Global CEO Success Personified report, and this is amazing, and I'm going to break this down for you. These are CEOs, folks. These CEOs ranked societal impact as the number one way they measure annual performance, more than financial performance or customer and employee satisfaction. So, we've got a problem here. Purpose of an organization 
is the why the organization exists. Is And these CEOs are saying the organization exists to promote and foster societal change. But see, customers, they just want their problem solved. And they want to get it at a fair price. They want quality. So are we surprised when Bud Light and their stock price and their sales dropped through the through the basement when it was always about cheap beer? <laughs> I don't care what anybody tells me Bud Light's purpose is. I don't know what their purpose statement is or was. I can tell you what it was. It was about giving a lot of dudes cheap beer. And it's awful beer. But people like cheap beer awful beer and thus they bought bud light their customers did not want bud light to jump into societal issues not my opinion this is a fact well we thought this was a big lesson about purpose this woman writes this article as though this is what it's about Let's go to another case study because here comes Target and they told Bud Light, hold your beer. We're going to double down. And so Target did their thing. And now Target is suffering. Is purpose in an organization about policy? Or is it about the production of a good or a service that solves a problem or meets a need. Let me ask the question again. Is the purpose of a company to promote and solve policy problems in our nation? Or is its purpose to sell a good or a service that solves a problem or meets a desire? <laughs> I'll let you answer it because you know the answer. And this kind of gobbledygook that Fortune is publishing And God bless this lady. I'm sure she's a nice lady. I'd be happy to debate her. But purpose of an organization is not about policy and politics. Unless you are in public policy or politics or a nonprofit that's driving that. But if you are in the goods and services business, Target, people want their cereal, their toilet paper, and their loofah. That's what they want. And then they want to vote however they want to vote. They want to talk about whatever they want to talk about. And this younger generation has been sold that they have a voice. And that's why they walk out. Disney employees, Apple employees walking out. I'm not going to work because I don't like the fact that you're not standing up to Ron. Whatever, Whatever it is, this has gotten out of control. I'm all for political involvement. I'm as political as they come as it relates to me being a citizen. But companies, you're going to blow it. And young people, you're going to step all over your career and you're going to stunt your career if you're worried about policy as it relates to the company you work for. It's about goods and services, not policy and politics. Wake up.